Hello, my name is Gabby Morano, and I will be presenting on blood doping. To start, I have this illustration of two little boys biking. One of them has some blood transfusion hooked up to it, saying, I want to be just like Lance Armstrong. And that's alluding to the big scandal in 2012 when Lance Armstrong got caught blood doping and got all seven of his Tour de France titles stripped from him. So what is blood doping? WebMD defines blood doping as a method of improving athletic performance by boosting the blood's ability to bring more oxygen to the muscles. There are three common types of blood doping. The first is just the injection of erythropoietin or EPO into the body. The EPO just stimulates the red bone marrow to produce more red blood cells. The second is the injection of synthetic oxygen carriers, which are just proteins that carry action in the blood. And the third is through blood transfusions, which can be autologous, where the athlete takes out their own blood prior to competition, stores it, and then right before competition, injects it back into their body so that the red blood cells are elevated. And then the second one is homologous, which means the athlete takes someone else's blood of the same blood type and injects it into their body right before competition, producing the same effect. So the reason why blood doping is so popular is because of the effects that erythropoietin has on the body. So EPO is a hormone produced and released primarily by the kidneys. It is regulated by negative feedback. In the natural body, the kidneys detect and respond to low oxygen levels in the blood. They release EPO into the bloodstream. EPO reaches red bone marrow and stimulates it to increase erythrocyte production. Then the erythrocytes go into the blood and oxygen levels rise. So EPO can be particularly beneficial in the clinical setting for people who suffer from anemia, blood loss, or a kidney disease because they have naturally low levels of red blood cells. However, EPO can also be manipulated in the athletic setting. So why do athletes participate in blood doping? EPO increases that red blood cell concentration that ultimately helps increase aerobic capacity. It can also help buffer the buildup of lactic acid in the muscles. This means that an athlete can last longer and they can perform at a higher intensity level than usual before the onset of fatigue. So here we have the aerobic capacity equation. And basically this is just showing us that there are three main factors that help determine aerobic capacity or max oxygen uptake. What happens with blood doping is that the EPO manipulates the hemoglobin mass variable. So when that increases substantially, so does the aerobic capacity, which is what eventually helps the athlete perform at very high levels. One of the reasons why the sports world started picking up on blood doping is because there were these young, healthy, successful athletes, particularly cyclists, that were all of a sudden dropping dead. What was happening was that these athletes were blood doping and because they had elevated levels of red blood cells in their blood, they also had thicker blood. Unfortunately, this can lead to cardiac events like stroke, heart attack, or pulmonary embolism that ultimately result in death. To prevent these dangerous side effects, as well as avoid the unfair competitive edge that blood doping can give an individual, athletes are subjected to blood doping testing. There are tests that exist to detect all forms of blood doping except for autologous blood transfusions. This is because with autologous blood transfusions, the athlete is injecting their own blood into their body. However, the World Anti-Doping Agency implements routine blood testing for top athletes so that the agency can track their red blood cell counts 
and see if there's any abnormalities, especially following an athlete's successful performance. In summary, blood doping can be used in both the clinical and athletic setting. The underlying me mechanism be behind blood doping is the manipulation of erythropoietin, or EPO. EPO increases red blood cell mass, which influences athletic performance. Use of EPO thickens the blood, and if left unmonitored in the athletic setting, it can be deadly. Here are my references. Thank you.